Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, October 31st, 2018 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Brad today wrote a diary about some of the changes that he has seen in the Hangator mal spam. Hangator, also known as Chanitor or Tordal, has been around for a while and it usually uses word macros to install malware. What Brad is seeing is a shift in the malware being installed. Until recently, the macros installed the SUS Panda banking malware on disk and in addition ran Pony malware in RAM. Initially, the document just stopped sending SUS Panda, so it just stuck with the in RAM component, which was still Pony. But over the last few days, it looks like SUS Panda has been replaced by UR Sniff. UR Sniff is typically an info stealer, but it can also intercept web traffic, which is white sometimes used as banking malware, just like SUS. Then, of course, you probably heard about Apple having a major media event today announcing new hardware, but that's not the only thing we got from Apple today. Apple also released updates for its more popular products, fixing a number of security vulnerabilities. As often for Apple, vulnerabilities may apply to various operating systems and products. One interesting issue is a vulnerability in FaceTime. This vulnerability can be used to execute arbitrary code at the recipient's system. It can also leak memory. So what could happen here is that an attacker is calling you via FaceTime and uses the call to actually steal memory content from your system. Apple also fixed a problem with IPsec that does affect several of its operating systems. In this case, if you're connected via an IPsec tunnel, some DNS queries may not use the tunnel and essentially give away what sites you visit. Now, a large number of vulnerabilities that are being addressed in these updates affect WebKit. And that, of course, is usually addressed by Apple with Safari updates. There's also a standalone Safari update for older operating systems. This particular set of updates only does include operating system updates for the latest version Mojave. So older operating systems can still update Safari and with this, take advantage of all these fixes rolled out for WebKit. Now, Windows users also should pay attention here. This is not just about iOS and Mac OS and these sort of Apple operating systems. Also, there are updates for iTunes and iCloud for Windows. So those products, if you run them on Windows, need to be patched as well. And it looks like security researchers are taking a closer look at how these secure messaging applications are storing messages. The latest example here is Telegram. The desktop version of Telegram apparently stores messages in an unencrypted SQL Lite database. That is, of course, not adequate because anybody with access to the file system could read these messages. This just comes sort of a week after we had a similar issue with Signal. Now, Signal did actually encrypt the messages on the local system. However, it did not encrypt the key that was used to encrypt these messages. In general, if you have any kind of messaging system like this, if you don't need a password to actually log in and that password then could be used to encrypt messages, then you should assume that the messages or the encryption key are stored in the clear. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.